Really? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Unbelievable. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Smolnik. Oh, right. Okay, what is it? What, you said you didn't want to know? Well, if you're going to tell him. Oh, no, I think you should beg me. I, I think you should say, I have no moral or ethical standards. I just really want to know the dirt. Forget it. <laughs> I have no moral ethical standards, I just want another drink. Okay. They had a good time, they had good conversation, good food. But she spent 20 minutes with a huge chunk of broccoli stuck to her face. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> pointed out or self-discovered? He had to point it out. How could she not notice? Did he do the face thing? He says he did the face thing. <laughs> How do you not notice the face thing? Okay, okay, this is what I was afraid of. Now, now, she's going to come in here and we're all going to be uncomfortable and she's not going to tell us what happened, so we're going to have to act like we don't know what happened. And if we really didn't know what happened, then we might innocently ask the kinds of questions that would lead her to admit to what happened. But since we know what happened, we're going to be conscious to avoid those questions and she won't be able to tell us. And the entire supportive friends dynamic is going